Hey y'all, the other day I actually got Chris out from behind the camera to help me with an unboxing of the Power Air Fryer. Come and check us out because it's a really simple gadget to use and we're going to do it all while having a whole lot of fun. So we've never cooked with this before. We're going to wing it. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy and Miss Chris in the kitchen today. And today we welcome you to our Cooking Chris's Dishes Unboxing Spectacular. Do I do it now? We are going to be unboxing the... <gasps> do, 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 do. Power Air Fryer. We've had a lot of people that have emailed us and said, hey, have you used one of these? You gotta try one of these. These things are awesome. Yes, I have on Recipes at Crock, uh, which is my website, I have had so many people ask me if we tested this out, if we like it, and could we please, please, please feature it on our Crock-Pot site. So we decided what we will do is kind of like when we do the Instant Pot, is we will, we're going to, well first of all, we're going to unbox this and like I said, wink wink we're gonna wing it today and show you like what it's like to first get one of these things and not really know what you're doing so we're gonna do that today and then any future recipes that we develop with it if we like it then we'll also have a slow cooker version of that recipe so, so that's what we're here for today so today we're gonna actually we're gonna make wings because when I think about a fryer I think wings and so we just finished putting a very yummy slow cooker version of like copycat um, BW3 wings because we went and we got their sauces mm -hmm. and, and their, their spices. sauces mm -hmm. and their spices from you can actually buy them and take them home and then make them at home and I will tell you the slow cooker version is like super yummy and tender and we use our broiler trick to kind of crisp up the skin but the texture's just a little bit different than like what you get at it doesn't have that crunch that it doesn't have the crunch it. but it's more tender so like it has it's like all my favorite bw3 flavors but with a it's it's definitely a homemade feel to it so we're gonna see if we can get more of the bw3's texture out of this baby and if we can't we're not going to show you this video. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, we'll just tell you, yeah, it, it's good, but it's not the same. Yeah. So that's what that's what our thing is. So first of all, let's move our chicken wings over. I believe I can fry. Oh, my goodness. All the puns. I guess uh, I'm opening this. Sure, so. ladies first. Okay. So, oh, for first of all, so the one that we got is the Power Air Fryer. The 3.4 quart model. I think it's about, I bought this one at Walmart. It's also on Amazon. 1500 watts up to 400 degrees cooking. And if you're yes. going any higher than 400 degrees to fry something, you're going to char it. Yes. So that's, that's good. It says it has preset programs for french fries, roast, shrimp, baked goods, chicken, steak, and fish. So I don't know about the preset. Steak. Yeah, interesting. Huh. We could try all kinds of things. But anyhow. Where's the cat? No. Oh. oh, quick start guide. Should I even give this to you? Let's tell me what to do, Hood. Remove easy load back. Well, first off, take it out of the box. That wasn't even in the directions, but we gotta get there. He's gonna clean that up later. Ha uh -huh. Okay, well this is kind of like all one unit. That's good. I always like to pull things out of a box they don't have to put together. That's why I don't like Legos. Oh my goodness. I'll get the box. Phew! It's so... Oh, speaking of the cat. Oh, you're funny. All right. You leave the poor cat alone. Um, we need oh, somebody needs to let that cat out of the box. Oh, you're so funny. All right, so we'll, we'll get the instructions um, out of here. I don't want to cut myself. That would be good. That's That's not for good video, at least not our kind. So these are just that's like, with the recipe yeah, and stuff. Yeah, that's a recipe. Hey, look, chicken there, wings. I bet there's wings on there, yeah. There's hot wings. So we'll look at the right instructions oh, for that here in a minute. Yeah. This says, remove easy load basket. Caution. There's a caution. There's caution tape. Here, hang on, hang on. Removing basket from unit. Take care not to push the button. Do not push the red button. <laughs> 
Well, now uh, I just want to push the red <laughs> button. I feel like Groot. Only push it when you're ready to remove the basket. Wait a minute, it just said don't push the button. Take care to only push the button if the basket is firmly on a surface of, to avoid dropping the basket. This sounds serious. Oh, they even put a little safety thing on there so don't. you can't push the red button. Okay. How do you get the safety oh, thing off? Oh, careful. Don't you break it. Is it in the instructions? I bet it is. Man, there's You probably should have read the instructions on this. Oh my goodness. Never misuse it. Avoid electrical shock. Do not bathe with electrical fryer. Sliding. <laughs> Does it <say> that? No. <laughs> Sliding button guard. The. This helps to make sure that you don't press the it's basket. It's supposed to be. Oh, I uh, found it. Oh gosh. Okay, we gotta get. You gotta help me here because I can't get this. This. Oh. Hot plastic does not sound good. It doesn't taste good either. It doesn't smell good. You're on my side. I'm always on your side. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get this plastic off. Oh. You know there's a perfectly good trash can. Oh, out there you know the can. other thing? Uh-huh. I hope we have, oh good, we have an outlet over here because I'm guessing this is going to use way more power than like a slow cooker would. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to like blow the fuse like we've done with the Instant Pot before. Okay. So there's, oh, we're gonna go. so there's a little button, a red button. Do not push. Don't push the red button until you're ready to push the red button. Yeah, confusing a little bit. But you slide this, you've got to slide the cover that protects the red button back. Gosh, you could accidentally hit that red. What does the red button do? Does it dump? Is that what it does? Let's see, because it doesn't have anything in it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We know what the red button does now. <laughs> don't push it. Don't, don't, don't push the red button until it's firmly placed on a firm surface. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's what that does. It warned us to be fair. It's... <laughs> okay, remove easy load basket. Pull easy grip handle straight out. Load fry basket. This well, we is need to wash it first, out. right? Yeah, let's wash it first. Okay. We'll skip this step here and then show you when we're back. Holy Moses, they have got like a button for everything over there. It's kind of like the Instant Pot. Yeah, I, not, um. Okay, so you load your, your Ranger food Don't. inside the cooking Don't. basket, or inside the non-stick fry basket. Then you return the easy load basket to unit. Do not press the basket release button or it will separate from the fry basket. There it was in step we three. We learned that. We should. Always read all of the directions before you we play with the toys. Mm -hmm. Step four, setting time and temperature. Follow the instructions specific to your recipe. See included recipe book. And then separating fry basket from easy load basket. Remove easy load basket. Set on a secure heat resistant surface. Move the sliding button guard and press the release button gently. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, this is super easy, looks like. Okay, so this says... This is for 12 wings, so you need to get, we're gonna do some wings, and we're gonna do a couple different things. Like I had heard, um, I had heard that chicken wings do best in this if you do it kinda in two sessions, so, so to speak. So there's no oil at all? No. Oh. No. So um, it's okay to just put them in the frozen? Yeah, it, they want, like this is for 12 at a time. Seven. And you can put them in frozen. Eleven. This reminds me a lot of Jimi Hendrix. Oh my. Little wing? No. All right. So they're arranged in the basket. Okay. So you can put them. I'll put them in since you need to wash your hands. All right. Oh, it's beeping. Okay. And I didn't push the button. So there's that. So now it says that you should turn, you should press the french fry button. Oh, it looks like a little, like a little thing of french fries like you get from McDonald's. You press the french fry button. Oh, I guess I need to turn the power button on. French fry button, adjust cooking time to 25 minutes. Okay. Oh, yep, no. Hey, hey, hey. Hang on. 
Do I need to get the instructions back out? No, it's just not letting me. Stop. What's it doing? Dot, don't you push the button. Oh no. I think it'll stop. Okay. All that right. It. Chill out. I want you to do the french fry setting. French fry setting. And then I want to add time. Okay. So there's a time portion over here. It says cook at 25 minutes at 400 degrees. So we're going to let it go for 25 minutes it at just 400 degrees. It's like getting itself up there. It's making a sound. Now it says halfway through you flip the wings. So I should have said it. So at 12 minutes. Okay. 12 and a half minutes. Well, that's silly how they have it described. Because wouldn't you want it to stop at 12 minutes? Why wouldn't you set it for 12 minutes? I don't know. Should we set it for 12 minutes? You're the one cooking this dish. Oh, jeez. That comes out really easy. That's a little... Be careful with that. I didn't that. push the button. Okay. Here we go. Let's... Third time. Oh, no, no. No. I think it was, it would start back up. Okay. Power. French fry. 12 minutes. Then we're going to turn them. Okay. It's happy. So we're going to go for 12 minutes. We're going to turn them. Then we'll cook them for 12 more minutes. And then it says to pull them out and toss them in your sauce and then put them back in for eight more minutes. Okay. This is a lot of work. Um, but I know like, cause I have a weird history with BW3s. I know, and it says it on the outside of these too. I remember whenever um, I used to be a job coach and some of my clients would work at BW3s and they would always add the seasoning at the very, very end, like when things were fully cooked. So for these, and that's what these say on the outside of them, that you add these at the very, very end, like the dry ingredients. Now, this doesn't say, and I don't recall how BW's does their I would think they wet. would cook them all the way through and then, mm -hmm. then do it. We're gonna wait, yeah. we're gonna cook wings. We'll come back so, here in about, 10 minutes and yeah. in the meantime why don't you comment down below and tell us what your favorite flavor of wings is what's yours mine oh salt and vinegar i love salt and vinegar now too. if i'm going for uh, the low carb thing i'm going for the salt and vinegar mm -hmm. if i'm going for whatever goes mm -hmm. either the teriyaki or the asian zing or my my two because i like a sweet wing as well yeah we haven't really talked about like one of the reasons like we're our household is really into wings it's like one of the places that we can go out to eat that is very low carb and since that's kind of how uh you know our family has been eating a lot lately it's like we can actually <laughs> we can actually order things off the menu without kind of having to get everything specialized or whatever yep. um and so be very low key so we love going there but you know we and we still will it's just it's heavy on the pocketbook if you go there all the time. So we like this option of making things at home for a more economical way of doing it. We're looking. It's blowing out hot air. Out Don't. The back. Do we need to switch positions? I think so. <laughs> and so, um, so we've been doing them in the slow cooker, which I will say so far, the slow cooker has um, been a lot less tedious. Like you just dump them well, in and cook. <laughs> we're learning. We just got yes. it. So we're learning yes. how. Yes, but I would say if you want like kind of a fix it and forget it, the slow cooker might be the way. But if you want something that like really resembles, I assume that these are going to taste a lot more like. That's our think. hypothesis. We don't know for sure yet. We'll We're know testing here in, it. in just a few minutes. So we'll just stand here and wait. We, we still got, well, we still got 10 minutes. Yeah, so you're probably going to cut this part out. You want to make out? Yeah. Beep, oh, it's beeping. Beep, beep, beep. I had my glasses on while we were waiting playing Angry Birds. I can't see the little birds fly on the phone without okay. my glasses. Do not push the red button. Mm mm. Not in my house. Okay. I you see. really want to push that button? Now, if if you don't have uh, heat proof 
countertops, you probably should have something to place yeah. that on. We've got granite countertops, so we can actually right. take that step for granted. So now they want... Go ahead. They want us to turn them... Oh, you did Oh, didn't... you hear that sizzle? Sizzle. You don't have your other camera on. I don't. Like you normally do. Watch this. I can do it by my phone, maybe. They're I'm gonna just... have them flip before. Yeah, they're just lightly... Ow! Did you just burn yourself? I know. Look at that. Think about what you would have done. <laughs> Wait, that was already... I'm getting confused. The tops are actually crisp, and it's the bottoms that aren't. Interesting. So it's the air is going over the top yeah. of it. Yeah. Cool. So, that can get a little confusing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like you're going to look in there in the middle of it cooking. Okay. One more. All right, so now you flip them and then we just put them back in for another 12 minutes? Yes, another 12 minutes. But, and then it says for another eight, but we're not gonna toss in that. So what's eight plus 12? Maybe we should just do That's it. That's 20. Or maybe we should toss it again. Toss it in 12? Mm-hmm. All right, it beeps. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you gotta reset the time on it. Okay. So now we've turned our wings. Now we will wait another 12 minutes and then see if our wings, so will our wings be done then? Well, it then once you, then that's your step to add to the add sauce. To add your seasoning and then. But we're not gonna do that because we feel like the B-dubs way of doing thing is adding the seasoning at the so very, have, very end. So should we do Well, I think that one? we might want to turn them again since the bottoms were a little soggy this uh -huh. time. So we're gonna turn them again in 12 minutes and then put them on for a final egg. Okay. That's what we're going to try. All right. Okay. And we'll be right back as, as quick as, as this. As soon as Mikey finishes Angry Birds. Oh. Guess what? Guess what? Our wings are done. Yes. Okay. Remember, don't hit the red button. Don't hit the red button. Ooh. I'm going to show a shot of that. Now, I wash these in between messing with it because you don't want to, like, contaminate. Check that. Actually, I'm going to wash them again because I see some on it. See them brown? Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. Look at that ring. Ouch. Michael, dude. If I burnt my camera up, I'll show my phone off there. All right. Did it look good? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the kitchen Did smells. Did you really hurt yourself? I burped my fingers. <laughs> the kitchen smells so good. Okay, so they're getting nice and crispy. But yeah, they still need a little bit of time. Yeah, I'd turn them one more time. Now, I don't know that I'd do it for another 12 minutes though. No, it said eight. Um, if you are not using like the BW stuff or you're using other, like it talks about using, I think... Does it talk about Frank's or does it just say hot sauce? I think it just says hot sauce. Well, a lot of people use like... Buffalo sauce. Okay. You can toss them in buffalo sauce and put them back in now. Um, but we're going to try and do it uh, B-dub style. So we're going to wait. They are getting quite crispy. But whatever side is on the bottom gets a little soggy, which is interesting. Okay. I think we got everything turned. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. To every wing, turn, turn, turn. Don't hit the red button, burn, burn, burn. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go for eight minutes this time. And let that go. Now, so far it's been pretty easy to operate, minus the whole basket dropping thing. So it's going to take a really, you're, so you're looking at to make uh, an order of wings is going to take about 30 minutes. Right. Roundabout. I wonder if you could add more than just 12 wings. We could try it sometime. Yeah. 
Have you guys tried it? Does anybody have one of these at yeah, home? Yeah, who's got an air fryer can tell like, us what we're doing I'm wrong. thinking if I'm going to be making a big old batch for like a party, 12 wings are going to go like that. I'm going to eat 12 wings in a sitting. So, I'm a little concerned that this is going to take a lot of time. I mean, it might give me really great quality, but we need to see if we can do more than just 12 at a time. I want to do french fries in it. That's not very low carb, but no. I still want to try it. Yeah. So we're going to try that. They have fried chicken in here, and for fried chicken, they're doing three thighs and three legs. So surely that's more than 12. Stop calling me Shirley. We'll have to see. Do you ever, do you have an air fryer, and do you do more than 12 at a time? Because I would want to do more than 12 at a time if it's going to take this much attention in time. I think. I think so, too. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. But, like, if I were going to do it for a party, I might still do the crock pot version because I could dump a whole lot in it. Like, I could do multiple crock pots. Garlic knots. You can do bread in it. Shrimp. Shrimp. Oh. Chicken tenders. Ribeye steak. How long? Four minutes, 400 degrees. Season. Are you chopping it minutes. up? No, honey. That's just the picture of this cut up steak. Oh, I head. guess like, you could just lay it down in the basket. This is the little cookbook. This is why I bought this brand, I'll just tell you, is because it said it had a little cookbook in it. And so while we may not make everything in this, like we're not following the wings recipe, we're just following the wings method, I always like to get cookbooks for new devices so I can look at it and say, oh, that's how you did it for your recipe. Now let me tweak what I want it to be for like my taste and what. Mm -hmm. But like a beef roll up, we could do. We could totally do yeah. that. I see some recipes coming. Like, oh my gosh, that's low carb too. Mm -hmm. Steak, pesto, provolone cheese, bell peppers, baby mm -hmm. spinach, sea mm -hmm. salt. Yummy, yummy. All right. Well, we've got approximately six minutes left. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? What? We forgot to high five in. So we'll high five out. Ooh. Ooh, they are definitely crispy now. Look at that. Where's Check it out. Oh, it's oh man, look at that wing. That wing right there is mine. I did. I called dibs on that. You want that? What flavor do you want? Because we're going to do different flavors here. Salt and vinegar. Okay. So they look crispy. So the way we're going to do our flavors is we're going to turn to the sprinkly side. Now this sprinkles really like heavy, just so you know. So we're going to put just a little, no, just a little bit in to begin with. You can add more later. Okay, so there's that. We're going to do lemon pepper, which is Miss Ad's favorite. Maybe. How come she gets more than I do? You're fine. Um, and then we're going to do mild sauce, which is also a favorite of Miss Ed's. Mike and I both like the... Um, the dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you want this really crispy one. That's the one. We'll put... We'll do... Because there's 12, so we'll do four in each one. When you do quick math, that was good. I don't know, aren't we impressed? I'm gonna put one of the nice big legs in each one. You're like, please give me more. Oh, there we go. One, two, and shake two. it up. I can't remember. I need to Google that. What? Because there's certain names for the. I think they're called drumettes, and I can't think of what the... I think, well, when you buy the section, if you want um, both kinds and not just, I'm going to put this... I'm going to Google that real quick. Cause it's if, if you want both kinds, you need to buy wing sections, not... Um, and I wonder if that recipe... Now, the picture looked like it was wing sections, but I wonder if it meant by wings... It meant like the full wing. Like you could have done 24. Oh. But if you want to buy it like what you would get at um, B-Dubs, then you want to get a bag that says wing sections on the outside. 
if you like just the drumsticks, then sometimes you can find wing drums, drumettes. So that's a drumette, and the other's called a wingette. A wingette. Oh, yeah. okay. So if you don't know what you're doing, just wing it. <laughs> I stole your joke. Okay. Well, they look a lot like the B Dub's wings. Yes, they do. They look very similar. They look like they're, they don't fall apart like <clears throat> the ones from the crock pot, so I'm assuming they're not going to be as tender. Um, but the the ones from the crock pot are way more tender than the ones you find in um, at B Dubs. Do I have to wait on you or can I? Go on and taste. There's ranch right here if you'd like it. This is for old so, well, bones. But the, the wings, look at that. Ooh, they're hot. But those bones, like if you take the wing head out, you're supposed to be able to twist that bone out. And it does. Look at that. Clean as a whistle. So do these look like, like Miss Ad's usual mild? Mm -hmm. Or is it baked on more? Usually? No, I think, I think the way they do those is they fry them. I think and they, then they toss them. I think they toss them too. So what do we think? Do they taste like B-dubs? Yes. Really? Yes. Let's try. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the same texture. It's the same wing. Mm-hmm. Wait. I say that. I want to taste the crispy skin on it to see if it's still got that crispy crunch. Yeah, it totally does. Oh, my God. It totally does. That was really attractive. <laughs> yeah. I promise we're not trying to make an ASMR video. We got, I've got a friend that does that. But you can't help but just crunch it. Oh my no, God. it's really good. And, and so that's what I will say. Going to the extra trouble gives you the texture that you would get from a Wings restaurant. Um, but, but you're not going to have to pay the Wings price for it. No. I would say that it's a lot more laborsome than doing it in the slow cooker. So if you're like doing big, big batches, probably the slow cooker. Um, I still think it tastes wonderful that way, but if you're if you're just wanting to um, have something like that's like the restaurant and do it at home for a lot less money, go. But just think about this though. This hasn't been deep fried. Mm mm. And then and these things like they sell all their different flavors. Um, I think it was five dollars a bottle. But the thing about it is when I think about. Um, particularly about sauces and stuff, I always think, gosh, that's expensive. But we've made, I've made two different batches of wings with with this sauce and barely used any of it. Cause like I put too much down in there for those four wings. Um, Cause you just use just a little bit to coat them. Cause that was Addie's criticism of my slow cooker wings is that I put too much sauce on hers. Cause she, she's like, my mouth's on fire. So anyhow. But could you pause to close us out? Bye. <laughs> oh. I'm a little hot. Mm hmm. We will lock your thank you. No, not with, your another mouth. not with your mouth open or mouth full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank y'all for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy and Miss Chris in the kitchen today. Yes. If you like what you saw, Give us the thumbs up down below. Also, click the little button that says subscribe if you have not done that already and you are automatically a member of our beloved Crock Posse. What is the Crock Posse? Come find out. Check us over on Facebook at the same thing at As Dude As It Gets. As Dude As, as It Gets? <laughs> don't go there. I don't know what no. that is. As <laughs> Dude know. As It Gets over there. <laughs> and just come and hang out with us as much as we can possibly hang out together. Yep. We thank y'all for watching because if y'all keep cooking, we'll keep... No, if they keep watching, we'll keep cooking. And all, and will, all be will be well. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, you've got a remote. Look at you. It's like you don't even need me behind the camera anymore. I'll always need you, baby. Aww. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Boy, those stripes make our box look big. Oh not, my not gosh, Becky, look at that box. <laughs> you need to stop making me laugh. You seriously are making my sides hurt. Okay.